guys, good morning. For today's video, we are going to film um, my baby must-haves that I've used this past couple six months with my baby Charlie. Um, now, I understand that every babies are different, so what my must-haves might be a little bit different from everyone's must-haves, but I figured I would share my thoughts and what I think about these items that I've I have had uh, used this past couple months and things that have um, actually worked for me. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, uh, the first one that I'm going to mention is the Milk Snob Baby Car Seat Cover. This one in particular was from the Milk Snob website. Uh, you can also get this from a lot of retailers I think um, when we were when we found out that we are actually expecting we went to ba bye bye baby and actually did our registry because that kind of help us figure out what we need because you know first time parents we've never done this before so we don't necessarily know what we're gonna be needing and what we're not gonna be needing and I added a lot of stuff in that registry so we got lucky that Almost all of them are actually bought, but I noticed that some of the items that were in there are like, oh, this actually turned out okay, um, and then some are like, not so okay, but regardless, they're, um, it's a good experience, I think, but anyway, enough of that. Um, I added this to my registry, this is the car seat cover, and I think they have multiple different brands on their website. And I have no idea which one is which. And I think when I was adding items on my registry, I actually based, um, I actually looked at the reviews and see if it's something that I will probably want to add. And so for the most part, they're pretty helpful, which is you know always a good thing. So anyway, the one really good thing about this one is it's a um, Milk Snob, the original five-in-one cover. So it's just it's more than just a car seat cover. You can actually use it as a obviously a, a car seat cover you can use it for nursing so this is what it looks like it's just I just got the gray stripe you know something neutral so I just put it like so okay and then you can have baby that you can nurse your baby using this so it's really great the things that I noticed about this versus the other car seat covers that we've gotten is like the material is really really soft I think it's like a jersey material and so it's pretty easy to throw in the washer if you ever need to and it dries pretty quickly what else you can use it to cover that's kind of like a baby blanket you know if you are out and about and you don't have a blanket you can use it a baby blanket apparently you can also use it for I don't know what it is but there's like that um, push cart car seat cover oh so you can use it as a push cart like the where they the babies sit on you can use it to cover that um, the seat and then the last thing I guess is kind of like a blanket which I did already say. Okay, so that's that. We have tried other stuff from um, Amazon and I don't exactly remember what this brand is or what it's from. If I find if I find it, I'll try to link it down below per usual. But this one is a different brand. It's a different fabric also. It's got that slippery fabric to it. It doesn't have, it's still, um, stretchy but as far as like softness and stretchiness of the milk stuff that one is much better this one is okay but it doesn't stretch quite a bit versus this one has a ton of like stretch so it's really easy really comfortable um, item number two for my baby must-haves is this one right here so this is the Boone Lawn Stem and Twig Drying Rack Set. Um, we are 
using baby bottles because I am breastfeeding, but I'm actually doing breastfeeding and formula um, combination. So using bottle baby bottles, and this is just a really good way for us to dry our baby bottles. And you can even use this to dry other stuff too, like any um, pacifiers or teether toys or anything like that. And a good thing about this is it's super easy to actually maintain. Um, you can pop this thing out and you can wash the base and you can even wash the bottom so that you know you want to do that once in a you know once every week or so to make sure at least check to make sure that there's nothing accumulating in there and out of I've had it for six months I've only had to like clean it maybe like once or twice thoroughly otherwise you know it's pretty easy um, super low maintenance which is good I think you can also uh, get this without the twigs and stem which is just like this you know which is fine but I opted for the one where you can have the twigs and stem because these little attachments right here are super useful for pacifiers for the bottle um, nipples things like that so you know a little bit more stuff that you can put your extra you know, extra things for baby but that particular one when we got it and all of these items actually we got them from bye bye baby with the exception of one item and i'll let you guys know what that is so for the um boon and lawn stem and twig drying rack set this one was 32.99 when we got it i believe this one right here was 35.99 it's pretty pricey but for what you use it for it's i think it's worth it Item number three is this one right here, which is the um, Philips Avent Advanced Sterilizer in white. I don't know if they come in different colors. This is the one that we saw. I think this is the only color, so I don't know why, it's, why they have to say in white. But I really, really like this one because we, like I said, we are using baby bottles and baby like pacifiers and stuff. And this is just a really easy way to sterilize your items without having to boil water wait for five minutes, put stuff there, fish things out. So what it what it is, is it's um, three different layers. So you have this one, the base where you put the water in. This is the bigger one where you put the bottles. So you can, this can fit up to six bottles. And then the top one where you can put your um, nipple, uh, caps your pacifiers the little items and you just pretty much fill this fill the base Let's see if i can show you so you take it out so you fill the base with um water and you know per instruction you're supposed to fill it onto like the fill line and then you're not supposed to like fill the whole thing because that's not going to be good. So fill up to the fill line and then you then take this thing right here, which is the big one where you can put your bottles so you can have up to six bottles in there. Okay. And then you take the top part, which is like this, and you just put your little stuff and you put it like that. And then you plug it and then you turn it on and I will try to see if I can insert like a video um, when I'm using it so that you guys can see a little bit better so here you go guys as you can see there's already water in there we're gonna go ahead and put the base layer where you put the bottles in and I'll put two baby bottles just so you can see this one can fit up to six bottles. Then we'll go ahead and put in the top layer. And this is where your nipple, your cap, your pacifiers, little items can go. Go ahead and put in those two right there. And then we'll go ahead and put the cover in. And then we'll turn it on. And this thing will be sterilizing for 10 minutes. And then after that, you are done. Sorry, my hands. 
The next one is the Playtex Diaper Genie. It's a diaper pail. So this one in particular, well actually all of the diaper pails that we've like seen or was looking at when before we added it to our registry, it seems like many people didn't really like them because they were like, oh, it's always broken or it didn't really keep the smell at bay. It didn't really do a good job at, you know, holding the diapers or stuff like that, basically. Um, nevertheless, we went ahead and ordered this one or we added it to our registry. And at that time, it actually has 15 reviews and it had like three out of five stars. So we're like, oh, whatever, we'll just go ahead and get it. But we did get the gift set. So the gift set did come with eight um, canisters, the plastic canisters, and a couple of like those odor packet things that you're supposed to replace every 30 days. And that was for $90, which I think was a pretty good deal because we haven't had to like buy an extra stuff and it's been six months now. And we do, you know, you know, babies, they have to be changed a lot. And so we do change it quite a bit. Um, and it has done a really good job at actually keeping the smell at bay we haven't had any issues about it breaking the top you know we it's a step and i'm going to insert a video of it but you basically um you open it by stepping on it's like a trash can it is a trash can for diapers step on it you um and then it opens up you put the diaper in and then it closes and i don't really i don't baby it but i'm not also very like um rough about it and it has hold up pretty well up to date i've never really had any issues whatsoever so i would recommend that um, i think it's a must have because if you just use a regular trash can in your um in your baby's room i'm pretty sure it's gonna smell and really when you're a new mom and you are sleep deprived who has time to go outside and throw the diaper every single time that your baby pees or poop so i think it's good and we've never had any issues with it, so we got pretty lucky. Okay, our next item is going to be the Swaddle Me Original Swaddles. And this is what they look like. So, right here. Bit. And you just pretty much put baby in there, like that. And your Velcro baby, and then boom. Okay, so before trying this on, we've actually we used to use just the regular swaddle, the one that she got from the hospital, and she outgrew that really, really quickly. Uh, we liked it because the material of it, it's like blanket almost, so it's not very stretchy, and so we really liked that. But then she outgrew it, and one of the things that we added to our um, registry was this. I'm pretty sure it's called Swaddle also. It's by Aiden and Anai. I don't know how to say that. But it's basically like a big swaddle blanket that a lot of people like and it's actually got a lot of good reviews. And so I am, you know, I'm like, okay, well, let's add that. And we got like two packs for each. So I don't remember how much they were. But when we used it, we just didn't like it because every it's kind of stretchy, not too much, but it's kind of stretchy. So every time that we would use it on her, she would just get out of it. It's like she would wiggle a little and she's out and it doesn't really help. So that was useless. And so we were like, okay, well, let's take a look into maybe something else. And I think before actually getting the, the Swaddle Me, original Swaddle, we had this one, which is still, um, this is by Love to Dream, the Swaddle Up original. Um, this was when she was a newborn, which is, it, it was fine, but I don't know if she actually liked it, liked it, just because it felt like it wasn't very comfortable she for her to like be like this so she would go to sleep in it but then she would wake up it really didn't last us very long um using this one before we transitioned to the swaddle me original swaddles um so this one we used every single night that she would go to sleep 
um, when she was still being swallowed. We actually have two sizes. So this one was the smaller one. Oh, it smells like her. And then this was when she was a little bit bigger. And so this is a small and this is the medium. And I think we swaddled her until she was, I wanna say four months, don't remember. Um, but she was, that's the only way that she would sleep. She had to be swaddled, otherwise she wouldn't be going to sleep. And then when we were transitioning her out of being swaddled, we got the, the halo sleep blankets where their arms are kind of like, oh, I'm gonna insert a picture if I find one. Um, there it's out so it's just something that's like kind of like a blanket and not necessarily something that's like constricting um, she's still using it I don't know if it's something that we necessarily have to have because there have been times where she slept without it but um, with the swaddle maze the swaddles those are really helpful for when it will calm her down and she can finally go to sleep okay the next item is going to be the Fisher Price Rainforest Music and Lights Deluxe Gym and I will insert a I will insert a clip um, a video or a picture of what it looks like but so this is the jungle gym that I was talking about a while ago it's pretty much just this very colorful device or not really device it's a colorful little mat plaything that she would usually use and she would usually be in the middle or somewhere there and she would be looking at the different attachments like this guy right here she likes to play on that and what she would like to do she would lay down and then she's just gonna like look into stuff sometimes she would um, actually she can like reach now so she would pull onto these things right here and they're very soft, so and they're very sturdy, guys. So it's not like she would pull and it would collapse on her. So that's something that I'm not really worried about. But it's just got a lot of very like sensory stuff that she can use. And I think this one is it's got a mirror, so she can even look. She likes looking at herself in the mirror now, so I think that's pretty hilarious. But it's got little things, and she likes touching those, and that usually keeps her entertained for hours we usually also use this mat to train her for her um tummy time and her crawling and it's been working out really really great so yeah there's that so the next one is the one that we did not get from bye bye baby because this is actually off of amazon it's actually not in our registry it's a gift from my uncle and um and i'm gonna insert a picture like right now this is the um, ah, Fisher Price Sit Me Up Floor Seat. And it says it's a number one bestseller in infant floor seats and loungers. And so this one in particular is a $40 baby seat. And so she really likes this one. She It's got two little attachments or attachments that has rattles and some collars. And so every time she would be there, she can sit there for at least like a good... 15 20 minutes and then she would be playing with it until she gets bored and then you know on to the next one but it's really great because you can put it on a um you can put it on the floor you can put it on a bigger um like stool so we have a it's not a bar stool what do you call this on our dining table we have like a really long um seat that's like really wide so what i usually would do is i would put the the seat on top of that of course it's got a lot of space so don't freak out guys she's not like it's not like she's gonna fall and have my eyes on her so I put her on top of it and then I would be sitting and so while I'm eating she's just right there and she's you know doing her own stuff or while I'm doing my computer work and whatnot um, she'll be there and she can see me um, at least she's kind of like a little bit on my level instead of like being on the floor so it's easier for her to like see me and she is easily calmed down when she sees people so really highly recommended um, this one in particular definitely use it only when your baby is actually able to control their head um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's common sense right um, but it would also I think there's also a warning on the packaging that you should only use it when babies are actually able to control their head better um, otherwise do not use it but for her we've been using it since she was like two months old and 
it's been doing pretty good and she still likes it um, this one I think can hold up to 25 pounds so it should last you quite a bit and this one in particular is a um, $40 item so the next item on the list is this little guy right here which is the baby Bjorn um, what is it? Baby Bjorn Carrier Mini. And this one is in the black. Color black. Um, they have a gray one too. I don't know if they have other colors, but I know they have gray and black in the outfit for the black one. Um, so the one that we have initially for our baby registry for the baby carrier was actually this guy right here, which is the Ergo Baby. I want to say Ergo Baby 360. Um, had a ton of reviews like thousands of reviews. So I was like, oh, let me go ahead and you know Get that but I wasn't I didn't I guess I somehow I did not See that there was like a certain weight um, Limit to it. So when she was born she was a little bit too tiny to use that one for you to use the Ergo Baby, and they have different ones, but this one is just the one where it's, I'm pretty sure it's 360 where you have to be at least 10 pounds? I could be wrong. You have to be a certain weight limit and then I guess for this particular one I did um, you have to have an infant attachment that you need to add to it because the, the infants are too small for this and so I did not realize that and I was like yeah what a hassle and I, I didn't want to just get a um, an infant attachment because I don't know I just didn't feel like I, wanna, I was pissed basically because I was like, oh, this is so stupid. Why do I have to get an additional one for, for me to use this one? And so I went online, looked, and I found this. And this one is the one that we have been using since. And this is great. Like, there's, it's so easy to, to install, easy to put on, take on, take off. No problem whatsoever. Um, and it's good for up to 25 pounds, although... Um, right now she is about 18 pounds and I'm already having a hard time kind of putting her in here so we'll see how long this will last I think this is good until they are 25 pounds or 29 to 30 inches whichever comes first and you can adjust you can adjust there um, right, so basically the way that you would do it the way that you would use it is you'd attach just kind of like a backpack okay like that and then you just clip like so and you take this you hook so with the baby with your husband's help or someone else's help and then you put it there clip put it there Okay, and then this right here attach like this and like this so this is where the legs are gonna come out this is where the arms are gonna come out and then this you can leave like that to get a little bit more support give baby a little bit more support or you can tuck it a little bit so that you know if baby can control their head they can actually um, look around look side to side I've also done it where you uh, you have baby facing that way and then then you would have to kind of like tuck this so that the baby can actually see um, yeah it's really great really comfortable washes pretty easily would recommend it I would buy it again if I lose it okay this one is $90 and we got this one from Target so um, if you have like a target card, you get 5%, which is even better. Next thing, one of the most important thing in my opinion, although I think they're all really important, is this item right here. This is a baby bag, diaper bag, baby backpack, whatever you call it. But this one in particular is from Skip Hop. It's called the Skip Hop Mainframe Wide Open Diaper Backpack in the color charcoal. This one also came in, I know for a fact, um, color black and there was a, a dusty rose color. Um, I like this one a lot because it's light. Um, I'm not sure of the material. I want to say neoprene. 
could be wrong but it's the one where it's easily wipeable so you don't have to worry about about stains or anything like that well it depends on what you put in it I mean if you drop ketchup it's probably gonna stain but I think you can wash it pretty easily no problem um, this one in particular comes with many many compartments which is what I really you know one of the things I like about it so you have two compartments right here so this is where you usually put our diapers and one right here we usually put our um, bottles and then you have pocket right here and a pocket right here okay pretty substantial pocket right here which where I usually would put my card holder or my phone if I don't want to bring anything with me and then on the inside it's a big compartment and it's got this easy open back um, mouth so you don't have to finagle with freaking zippers it comes with a baby changing changing pad you can wash this pretty easily um, it comes with let's see it's in here two um, what do you call this thing <laughs> two back pockets right here where we usually would put our diapers and then it's just a big open compartment right there I'm pretty sure you can you know, if you want to use organizers to make it a little bit more organized you can they have organizers for everything now we don't have any organizers because you know I just never really bothered not never bothered looking for one but it's working fine without it um, pretty light in my opinion it's really great and this one in particular was $74.99 $75 and I know that we were able to use our 20% off coupon for this so that's all um, it's pretty great you can it comes with these things right here because I think you can attach them to your stroller if you need to which is always a handy thing right um, before getting this one I tried ordering two diaper bags one from Amazon which had a good review didn't really like it. it felt really flimsy didn't feel like it would last long and then the other one was from D Dagny Dover really expensive I think it was like about $200 um, though that one was neoprene and it's really soft and squishy but it didn't really do didn't do anything for me it was too expensive for what it is it definitely got heavy when we started loading thing loading it with good stuff and so I was like you know what I don't want it um, and this one has been working working out just fine the only thing that I would probably um, if I can improve it um, is this right here I wish this the handles or the straps were padded because they're fine for you know a few hours but what we found is that when we went to Disney World back in December and this was loaded with baby stuff and you're wearing this for hours and hours and walking it will start to dig into your shoulder but for a casual you know going out going to the mall going to the groceries things like that it hasn't really been an issue right I think that is pretty much it so those are just kind of like my initial baby must-haves initial you know thoughts and whatnot I did not include the um, baby stroller that we have because I, I think that would that can go for a different the video but the one that we are I guess we can add it like you know it's a bonus um, a bonus must have although it's not really a must have you need to have it and it doesn't have to be this brand uh, we have the Appa Baby Vista in the Stella um, this one in particular I am aware that it is very expensive however I think for for its the price of it is really worth it um, it comes with the baby bassinet that you can use to lay baby down you know when you go for a walk and it comes with a I think a toddler seat it did not come with the car seat because you are going to buy the car seat separately so it's very costly but we have been using it for six months and I think it's um, it's really really good so when she was a little bit when she was smaller and younger she really didn't like the stroller at all so we were like oh this is not worth it we spent so much money on it and then as she was getting older and was a little bit more curious and able to look around she didn't mind at all and so now every time we go out 
you would take it with us and what I like is it had a really big base and so we would put our baby bag underneath it or you know my purse in there and I won't have to like carry anything and it's such a dream to basically maneuver you don't have to worry about um, pushing it uh, uphill downhill it's just a really easy um, stroller so if you guys want a more in-depth review of the Appa Baby Vista stroller I'll leave comments down below although I know that there's a ton of videos for that already but just in case you guys are curious for a more updated one let me know um, but I think that's it for the video for today thank you so much guys for tuning in and hope you have a great day and if you like this kind of videos please don't forget to subscribe and like the video thank you so much have a good one bye bye